of the Duncan Banner here with Duncan Lady Demon Head Coach Andrew McClung. Hey, what's up? Not much. Just trying to stay warm. It's cold out today, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to get worse, I think. Is it? It's supposed to snow. Well, you know what? It's cold up there, but it's hot in the locker room. <laughs> Y'all have won three of your last four. Not bad for a team that has seven wins on the season. Yeah, not bad. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of good momentum to take into the playoffs. Uh, we're, we're excited. The girls are excited. They're, uh, despite everything, they're still up and working hard and ready to play. So that's a good sign. Well, the important thing is that you're playing your best basketball when it needs to be played. Yep. We yeah. are. They, they, they're doing well right now. You know, with the young team starting four sophomores, this is probably where you kind of expect to be as far as where you're progressing right now. Uh, a little bit. You know, we, 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 we've had a lot of games we felt like we could have won. Uh, a lot of games, in fact. Nine. <laughs> Nine mm -hmm. games we felt like we had chances to win. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're getting there. Every game they play, they learn something new. Uh, you know, every, every night out, you know, they get a little more confident in what they're trying to do, and um, you know, they're they're excited to go to playoffs now. So. Where are they most confident at right now? Defensively, uh, they feel like they can defend with anybody, uh, and we've been that way all year. We really have. We we we've, we've been able to get stops. Uh, golly, I uh, the game the other night. I think we forced twenty six. Turnovers, 26 force turnovers on our opponents, uh, and we average somewhere around forcing 24, 23 turnovers a game. Um, you know, they do a solid job for the most part of getting stops. This is whether or not we can always capitalize on. Well, one of the biggest differences to me is that whereas y'all might have forced 24 turnovers a game, you probably give it up just as much, yeah. if not more. Yeah. You didn't do that against Seda. No, we. Uh, we actually had, uh, I want to say we had, they had 26, we had about 19 or 18, so we... And we they actually, were limited in the second half. Yeah, it was. Most of those came in the first half. There was one point where we we stole it, went down, threw it over the top of our, our heads and, and turned it over, come back, stole it again, went down, uh, dribbled off our leg or something, going <laughs> driving to the basket, I don't know. Stole it again, did the same thing. I mean, we had about three turnovers in a row off of three steals where we were trying to you know, we had three chances to score layups and either you know, just didn't catch the ball or threw it over the, our teammates' heads. Uh, you know, they, they, those kind of things will come in time. And they're getting there. Uh, they, they really are. They, 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 they've really been working hard as far as trying to uh, great, read the defense and, and knowing how and when to react. You know, it's, it's slow. It's a slow process, but they're getting there. So this week, regional, first round, need to win to advance. Yeah. And you have a familiar opponent. Yeah, we got Altus. Uh, <coughs> golly, um, you hate to play somebody three times. Uh, but I guess if you did, you'd, you'd want to go in knowing you beat them twice. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, and that's kind of the boat we're in. Uh, you know, he's he's in the, he's in the same same boat we are. Young team, a lot of sophomore kids. Uh, but I think he's a dangerous team. I really do. Uh, you know they've, they've got they've got a lot of kids that can shoot, and, and if you start letting them just catch and set and, and just start to shoot, I mean, you got a lot of kids that can spot up and shoot. And boy, if they ever figure out how to start penetrating, though, they can really cross some nightmares for people. But um, you know, we'll go in same game plan. We're just gonna you know play pressure defense everywhere, run the floor, and try to take it at them. And uh, I, I think we've got a good shot. You know, it'd be nice. I think be, if we win, it'll be the first time in six years. Six years that Duncan girls have gotten out of the, out of the regional. Yeah, I don't even uh, remember myself. I've been gone yeah. most of that time too, Coach. It's, I think it's been six years. Last time when they went, uh, when last time they got out of the regionals, they went to state and then back out of the since then. But, you know, I mean, that's what's exciting about playoffs. I mean, it don't matter what your record is. doesn't matter who's beating you or what rank you are that first game you don't win it it's over so everybody everybody's gonna you know the intensity will be a little higher you know uh everybody will, will, will be trying to bring their a game in and you know but the good thing is the other night this is about as close to a, a, 
uh, intense playoff game as we could get mm -hmm. with Ada. Uh, absolutely loved it. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, actually, in that last minute when we were trying to get our stop, uh, you know, I might have been working instructions. But I don't think the girl could hear one of them because it was so loud. You know, what I mean, uh, that was nice to see. We ain't had that. We ain't had that all year long. We ain't had that from nobody, no matter how close the game was. So. Not even you guys. We ain't had that from nobody. So that was a nice change of pace for the girls. They liked that. But uh, we'll see how it goes on Thursday. Well, and there you go from Coach Clay. <laughs> Claude, for his respect. Yeah, that's right. Fighting the whole dang way. <laughs> Thank you very much, Coach. We appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks.